Solid Element Operations allows us to create complex shapes using balloon operations. These can include subtracting, additions and also intersections. The results of these operations is always associative, so if you move the location or change the attributes of one of the elements involved in this operation, all the linked elements will be updated accordingly. Just to show you what I mean, what I've done here is placed a slab, a couple of funky walls and a primitive which is just a cone at the moment. So first thing I'm going to select that cone and at the moment it's on a layer called hidden. So if I go to the layers I still want to see that layer but I'm going to change it to wireframe just to make things a little bit clearer. So now that I've got it in wireframe I can go to the, de the design drop down and click on solid element operations. With that a palette opens up and if I select the wall, in fact I'll select both walls, holding the shift key and selecting them both. Get target elements, we can see we've got two target elements now stored. Now I'm going to select the cone and that's going to be my operator. We can see now I've got one operator. Now I'm going to deselect, click away from the model and deselect everything. And then I'm going to just perform a subtraction and it's going to inherit the attributes of the operator. So at the moment we should have some glass and if I push execute we can see that the holes have now taken on the properties of the cone which is glass so if I just undo that control Z so I'm just going to do that again select both walls they're the targets deselect select the cone that can be the operator deselect and use their own attributes and I'm going to push execute. Now we can see there's a different, slightly different result. Now a good reason to keep this in wireframe initially is that it's easy to grab and manipulate. So I can grab any of these hotspots and change the way that it looks. So we can see once we're happy with the, the result we can just turn the, go to the Layers palette, Control L, and just hide that layer. So there's our result. A slightly more practical use for this would be, I'm just going to turn my layers back on, I'm going to leave it in hidden, hidden line or wireframe mode, then I'm going to check on the Slab tool, and draw a small slab. I'm going to leave that the top at zero and I'm going to make the bottom at minus 100. Once I've completed that I select my slab which is going to be my target then I'm going to sele select my secondary slab and use that as an operator and this time I want subtraction with upwards extrusion execute. Now we have a drop down for possibly a shower or something else like that. <coughs> we can also change that obviously. So we can see, see that cutout is modifying the slab as we go along. So I'm just going to control L and hide that layer now and there's the result of that. There's really quite a lot you can do with these tools to help you model your building a bit easier.